Hello everyone and welcome to Hidden Collections. Today we have a PSA return. Um, this is actually a newer one. Still waiting on others from years ago, but this is actually an economy return. So we got 20 cards here. So the economy right now is $50 a card, so it makes it like pick and choose which ones are it uh, to go through them. So uh, the economy lotteries nowadays are kind of... If you join, you get in, it feels like. And some people might have just given up. I know it's a little bit more expensive uh, to get them back, but you know the payouts can be good. I know most of these. So we're going to start off with a Venusaur base set hollow. Um, so most of these are pickups from... They've probably been in pickup videos. This one and the next card haven't. Uh, I picked these up at a local store. I felt like they were the best out of what they had, so... All right, mint eight. So there's a little bit of whitening across the bottom there. Centering's a little off, so I can see that getting an eight. Happy with that. Always good. And some of these vintage cards just to get eights and higher. That's what I strive for. Then we got the Blastoise. Funny story about this one. I think someone was looking. There was two Blastoise, and I think someone switched them out and stuff of, like, the wrong around cases or something and I, I was like well this one seems better than that one i don't know why it's there but i picked it up that's fine that's something it's like something in the slab on the corner but eight five jeez give me the nine give me a nine like no centering like that's what i was saying it looked real good i knew it was off center but i'm like like, what's the point five? I mean, I know there's some silvering. That's probably what it is, is some silvering along that edge. I know it's a little harder to get to. I'm just going to stick that since it says eight. So, that's probably what it was, was that silvering plus the off-center. So, it wasn't... So, whatever. I'm like, if it was a nine, it, like, it'd be more, worth more. That's that's why. Uh, we got the Crystal Guardians Reverse uh, Hollow... EX Crystal Guardians Blastoise right here. Eight. Sweet. Um, a lot of these I got, um, like, this is one of those I picked up, like, long ago, and I've been sitting on them and stuff because I didn't know what to do with them. But, like, I feel like a lot of these might have been in some sleeves. They might have not been in sleeves when I picked them up. So, another one of those. We got the Mew Black Star promo. An eight. Taking eights all day long. So... You go right there. Next one up, we got the Raichu. Um, yeah, I think this is, like, I, I can't remember how many shows ago. Like, I know this was a pickup, and it looked better than most of the other cards and everything that I got. I mean, there's a fair deal of whitening around it, so seven. Yeah, I mean, it's probably got scratching on the hollow foil, too. But first edition stamp helps something out, like, helps a card like that out. We got the Fraligator, first edition, Neo Genesis, with a five. I think I know what it is. I think I was, like, so excited to send it in, but I think I um, slipped a little bit. Like, right. No, focus when I do that. There's a, right there, where that, right before the light, I think there's, a, like, a little lip thing on it, and that's what caused that one. Like, it looked good, good, good. I might have missed that. Um, I think I saw it before I sent it in, and I was like, maybe they'll miss it. But no, they got it. So it shows that they're actually, you know, paying attention to stuff. So unfortunately, that one got a five. Uh, the Umbreon. Um, this is one I picked up, and I was uh, hoping uh, for a decent... It's like hollow bleed through it. Got an eight. Sweet. That's awesome. Yeah, some whitening around it and everything. But lots of eights. <laughs> lots of eights. We got the uh, Neo Genesis. So, the Fraligator, the Slow King. I think the Right. The, I'll, I'll remember because there was five cards. We got that big swirl right in the middle. I know this one had print lines and some scratching on it. Seven. Yep, I can see that. Like, the back is super clean. I think most of it is here. Because I know it had the notorious print lines on the Slow King and some scratching, but other than that, I don't know why that would 
want to drop it all the way to a seven. So one, two, three, was that four? I don't know. I may have sent some other cards that separated out. Like, I think Sabrina's Gengar, the one I did a single card for, was one of those that was supposed to be with these as a fifth. We got Erica's Dragonair. Mint 8, sweet. No, it's not like the biggest card, but still getting eights. Eights are good. We got Clefable Expedition E Series. You know, these are a little bit harder. Yeah, I think that's a swirl trying to get through it. Mint 9, there we go. Our first 9 of the video. Uh, Clefable, I mean, I don't know. Just a little bit of whitening. Clean card around. Uh, another pickup from another one of the shows. Uh, more recent. Uh, Pidgeot. I think this one was one that I left out of a video and I had to pick it back up. Um, I'm like going through and I found a, a one touch and I'm like, oh yeah, the Pidgeot. I forgot to do this one. Uh, we got Expedition, Pidgeot, 7. I know there's scratching on it and some whitening. Yeah, that corner down there is pretty... So, you know, but it's still an E-series, so someone might be looking for it. We got Lantern, Hollow, Aquapolis. So if this was, if some of these were some of those other ones, these would be big, like in the 8s and 9s. 8, Lantern. So, put that up there. We got one more. We got Jump Bluff from Aquapolis. I know if these, like, even though they're not, like, the bigger names, but, like, 9s and 10s and these are still, you know, decently priced. People are looking for E-Series stuff all the time, so, 6. But this one looked good. I mean, minimum whitening, unless there's some serious scratching on the centering look decent. I mean, centering's a little harder, because you only get, like, the top and the right. I mean, because those are so big, but... All right. On our first six. So we got five, six, seven, eight, nine. Coming in. Ooh. Got some of that EX Team Rocket Returns. Reverse hollows. I know there's reverse hollows coming in this. We got the Tyranitar. I don't I think this is the one that's the one that's in the theme deck. So there's like a non-hollow and a reverse hollow and then the like cracked ice. Eight. That's good. Right there. Tyranitar. Got those energies in the background. I know I'm trying to flash it without like blinding people. You take that eight. Another one. Team Rocket Returns. Uh, don't see a lot of people with these kind of cards out there. Eight. Um, like, I picked these up from my local shop, and I think I've told the story that the person and, I guess, his girlfriend, had they had EX Team Rocket packs and Deoxys packs, like, in a box loose, and they were literally cutting open the packs, and some of the cards, like, they had a, a reverse hollow... Gyarados from Deoxys, and you could see where the scissors like cut into it. And I'm like, oh, I really wanted this card, but it had the cut into it. So I think this is the Tyranitar from the set. I mean, research helps out a little bit too. Seven. Um, but like, there's lots of like right there, like this, like right there. That's a scratch on the card. So a lot of these kind of had those surface scratches like that. They're a little bit deeper. Uh, and stuff. I think they just threw them all, all of these into a box, so they're all shifting on each other all the time. And so that's how they got all scratched up. But I tried to find the ones that were the best. Was Tyranitar or is it Dragonite? Now I'm confusing myself. I think it's Dragonite is the. There might have been. I don't know. I don't remember. I don't know. Hey, I don't like you. Get back here. Background. Trying to go away. We don't do blue screen, green screen stuff. So we got the Dragonite right here, seven. Like I said, I was hoping for sevens or better on all these. Um, so it's just the work, and then it's like just that's front surface scratching on them. Oop. Got another one here. Like I said, I can't. Was it Tyranitar or Dragonite? No, no, someone in the comments leave it, or I'll figure it out. After this, because one of these was the the theme deck one. It might be Dragonite. I'm not. I don't know. Now I'm confusing myself. And another seven. There we go. Take those all day. 
And a third one. I was able to pick up... I actually got these at, like, a really good deal. That's why I was like, I'll send them. But these are not cheap cards. Like, the reverse hollows are becoming so much more desirable to people. You know, so we got a Dragonite. Five. We got another five. No. On this... I don't know. I don't remember that being there. See right there by the N in the middle. It's like a little crease right there on the back. I guess. It's one of those that gets by you. <sighs> Darn. But cool to have triple sevens. We got that last card of this. Uh, I picked this up at the same time. So it's a Chinese first edition Charmander. Um, I picked the, this up at the same time as the Blastoise and Venusaur. I saw it. I'm like, well, I'm like looking at the pop. It's low pop. I mean, it's in. There's a little bit of whitening, but I said it's a non hollow. I mean, first there's in Charmander. You know, Chinese. Might be a cool pickup here. All right, Mint 9. I'm like, mm, it's a cool 9. Hold on, let me hold it up. So. So it costs a little bit less than the English, but, you know, trying to pick up more of those English cards and other things to send, um, those bigger cards, you get them back, but, and I think it's the Japanese that are the only ones that have the different background. All the other, uh, languages use the English background on the cards. So another nine, so two nines you can see here. I know it's hard to kind of see. Let me tilt down just a little bit. Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye, big three. So two nines, lots of eights, uh, sevens, one six, a couple of fives. I To be ex kind of expected in something like this. So um, not too di I'm not disappointed at all. All this will be available. I'll have more stuff to take to the shows. Some of it might get tucked away. I don't know yet since I did get some doubles. Of some it's just they're really cool or i'll move them try to find some better condition ones too you'll always try to upgrade as i kick the the camera hang on there but that's it for this one like i said uh there should be more psa type of videos um coming i know i have a couple orders from uh, like over a year ago that are in the process of assembly right now i have another economy order that's in the process of assembly but that one will finish much sooner um, so, so we'll have more Saturday PSA videos coming. The ones from a year ago, it was because of the time. And then it took, for how long it took, it's there, it's like, why did I send them? But at the price point, it doesn't, it's like, okay, I'll, whatever. It, it, you're going to be like, why are you grading those things? And I'm like, why did, and then I asked the same thing. For some of them, it's like, why did I send them? Because that's what, excuse me, got a hiccup. Because that's what was hot at the time. And now it's kind of died down, so I'll, I'll figure out how to do something with them. Like always, not so it's no big deal. But that's it for this one. If you did enjoy this one, hit that like button. If you're already enjoying what's happening on the channel, hit that subscribe button. But like always, until next time, have a great day. See you later.